Good evening everyone watching here on Twitch. Thank you for making it out and welcome to everyone watching over on YouTube for the re-upload. It is episode 10 of the Ottawa Senators franchise mode here in the 2024 postseason. In the last one, we put up a 61 win performance, our best season yet, and I don't even need to look. It has to be the best Senators season of their franchise's history. President's Trophy, 126 points and a winning percentage of 76.8%. And that was quite a bit of a margin between us and the Chicago Blackhawks in second right there. So, but the bigger story were the insane, insane point totals in the last one. You have 35-year-old Logan Couture, who came here in year number one of our franchise mode. He's been here through all four seasons and just explodes for 99 points best season of his career by far at the age of 35 after passing a thousand games as well after that you have over point per game for tim stutzla who was in, this is fourth full yes yeah, fourth full season you have brady kachuk at point per game dougie hamilton two points under a point per game he has been unbelievable as well and the year that he won the norris he had 79 points and then he just ups that by one getting 72 assists after that, you have Alex Ovechkin at the age of 38, who scored 74 points and 34 goals. And that was enough to pass Wayne Gretzky for number one on the all-time list, as he currently sits at 897. Obviously, starting to go down a little at an 85 overall, but he is our captain. This is his second full season with us, and we intend to keep him... Sorry, his third full season with us. We got him in free agency after he walked from the Capitals. No one wanted him for the first couple of weeks in free agency, so we went for him. I wouldn't want to... I hate cheesing it for Ovechkin, but the stars align for this one. Anthony Mantha, 70. Jake DeBrusque. At an 85 overall with a plus 5, went 30 goals, 40 assists, 70 points. How do you do? Shabbat 55, Denisenko 44, down we go. Sorelli in his first season, third line center, got 34 points, went down at the end a little bit. We picked up Duncan Keith at the trade deadline, 40 years of age, at uh, 91 poise, 82 overall. Did not play a single game with us, but he is ready for the playoffs if and when he is needed. Ryan Graves was a plus 70 plus 70 yes yeah, 70 so just do that do with that what you may sanderson 15 hepin yemi 12 and 77 for fourth line center patrick marlowe 44 years old played 32 games scored nine points was a plus 11 had two game winning goals how does he do it how does he do it the man he's in like his 25th nhl season now unbelievable Aside from that, speaking of old dogs learning new tricks, you got James Optimus Rhyme Rhymer going 25-5-0 with three shutouts at the age of 36 and at an 81 overall. Kevin Lankinen, though, the waiver pickup ended up being the, re well, no, I, know, I wouldn't say the real star, but just, just a bit better than James Rhymer numbers-wise, going 28-6-2 with five shutouts, 920 save percentage, 2.12 goals against average, lots of Drugs, I, I mean uh, heart, lots of heart, yeah. They're taking MJ's secret stuff from Space Jam behind the scenes. Philip Gustafson, the man who won us our Stanley Cup, the guy who has been Gus the Bus this entire franchise mode, just dropped the ball, 9-6-2 and two in 17 games, had really bad numbers despite the two shutouts, and he has been riding the, not even the bench, he's been up in the press box eating hot dogs with me all season long. So we've had a, you know, we have a great friendship now, but it's Reimer and Lankinen who have the show here in the playoffs. It would take a, a lot for me to get Gustafson into the starting role, into, well, into the backup role, let alone the starting role. No problem, JB, I'll catch you later. So all that to say that it was a really, really good season for us here in Ottawa. Not just... Well, 10 points away, but second in NHL scoring was Logan Couture. And then uh, number one in NHL assists, though, was Dougie Hamilton and uh, Austin Matthews. Our rivals in Ontario, we won the Stanley Cup in 2022. Uh, the Leafs won it in 2023. And now we're fighting for it once again here in 2024. So we're up against the Boston Bruins. I don't have much to say with the lines. Just I'm going to open up the lines in the last one. The comments were just a lot of excitement, 
Uh, Mikey saying the man, the myth, the legend, Kevin Lankinen. Op optimist rhyme. Uh, excuse me, optimist rhymer. The plus Graves, the great eight surpasser, the oldie but a goodie, Patty Marlowe. Logan Slogan, Gus the bus goes down. Burn Lautner burns his opponents. Data makes good videos. Well, Mikey, you make some good slogans here. Thanks a lot. This was a really fun episode, like I said, so I appreciate that. Scott was saying that Lankinen seems to sim pretty well as he won the Vezina and the Cup in year number one of a new franchise he's doing. So just to note that maybe this is a trend that we could be seeing. I don't know. So not a lot for suggestions because there's not really much to change when you win 61 games. We've got the plus fives within the top nine. Third line's jiving. Fourth line's been playing all right. Despite the terrible fit for Marlowe, he still did really well. Uh, defense, we're playing 1-5-1 one, one with Shabbat Brandstrom, Graves, Hamilton, Sanderson, Hewitt. Graves and, Ham and Hamilton, probably the best defensive pairing in the entire NHL. For goaltending, we're going to be starting with Kevin Lankinen between the pipes since he has the slight edge in the numbers. His poise is 82, Reimers is 85, so I'm not going to be afraid to switch it around if need be. They have a decent leash, it's not a super short leash, but I, I trust and I love both of them, so I won't be afraid to kind of mix it around. It won't be, okay, Lankinen, you've, you've lost the crease, Reimer, you're coming in forever. It might just be, hey, let's change it up and see what happens. So we'll see. Scratch, we have Jeremy Roy as the 14th defenseman. Duncan Keith as the 13th defenseman. Gustafson, third goalie. Alex Formenton is currently out with injury. That's why Patrick Marlowe's here. It's a pretty lengthy injury as well. I think it was an MCL sprain. If we needed to call up a forward, it would likely be Zach Seneshin, who sims quite well, actually. When he played in the NHL, and yeah, he played four games, two goals in 2021-2022. So... There we go. Not much else to say. I think we're ready to hop into the playoffs. I just want to quickly check out Boston's Lions, get a refresher on them. As you know, if you're watching on Twitch, it's no problem because you're re reacting as I react and you're enjoying the show. But if you're watching over on YouTube, this video could be an hour and a half, two hours. Who knows how long it could be. Oh, tornadoes in here. That's the playoff magic we needed. But as you know, that could just be me trying to fool you out and putting an hour and a half of a black screen. Because I want this to be realistic. I hate when a franchise mode is 40 minutes long. You know that you're going to lose in the first round. So uh, if you're watching on YouTube, do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. It's not going to be... Uh, it could be a quick one. It could be a long one. Uh, so Zabanajad, Pasternak... And Brad Marchand on that first line. Marchand's an 85 because he's 35 years of age. Zabanajad, I'm surprised he's at only an 85. But Pasta in his prime, 91 overall, 27 years of age. Panda, we're going to need your Panda luck in this first round. Andre Kasha at an 86. That's great growth from him. Trent Frederick and then uh, Andreas Athanasiu. I don't see Andrew. And Andreas Athanasiu. Kirill Kaprizov's on the third line with Fred Lankow, a first overall pick sniper in 2023. And Alexia Fallo. Thank you very much, Panda. Mark, welcome as well. And then Koyal Studnika Martinuk on that fourth line. So I'm not, oh, no problem. I'm not super, super sold in this lineup. Uh, I, well, I should say forward core. Kaprizov is great for that third line with Lankow, and the first line is great, but it's the second line that's weird. I don't like Trent Frederick as the second line center, but who knows? Maybe it's working for them. Defense is Vakaninen with Charlie McAvoy, Pareko with Zaboral, and then Susi with Carlo. A decent defensive core, and goaltending is Linus Allmark backed up by Cal Peterson. Linus Allmark is just a sim god. He, yeah, look at these, well, sorry, look at these playoff numbers. Ah, uh, okay, so they went 0-3 last year. Oh, no, hold on. Back it up. That was with Buffalo in 2020-2021. 0-3-1 with 9-22. So, okay, he hasn't been simulating that that well. Usually Linus Allmark is notorious for simming like a beast. But I guess on Boston, it's a different story here. Uh, any scratches or injuries? Scott Lawton is injured. Giovanni Smith, Brad Clark. Alrighty, we're going to start it off with our rivals, the Boston Bruins. Round number one. So remember, year number one, well, we were terrible. <laughs> year number two, Stanley Cup. Year number three, six game round one loss to the Lightning. They shut us down. Vasilevsky was a monster. They played better. We had to give it to them. We had to acknowledge that they were the better team, unfortunately. A lot of players did not show up. We made the right moves in the offseason. We came back even stronger than ever. It's year number four. President's Trophy champions, let's do it. Game one, round one, Canadian Tire Center, let's do it for Leroy. Showtime. Welcome to all 18 of you here to begin the year number four playoffs. 
First period, 2 nothing Senators. It's plus 70, Mr. Plus 70, excuse me, Ryan Graves, and then Alexi Hepanyemi making it 2 to nothing. Second period, 3-2. Oh, well, yikes. How about that for a little gut, a little shot to the gut? Brad Marshall scores early, and then Vakanine and scores twice in five minutes. And we're down 3-2 headed into the third period. Okay, okay, let's wake up a little bit. And then Kirill Kaprizov, the trade deadline pickup. It's Reimer and Neth. Okay, Mantha brings us back within one. Reimer's in. That means that Lankin got pulled. Power off. What are these penalties? We can't be taking them late like that. Uh, Thanasiu restores the two goal lead. Power play Bruins. Uh, is it possible to view results from your franchise's past seasons? In past NHLs, you have been able to. But I do not believe that you're able to in NHL 21 or 20. I think it's been a while since you've been able to do that. So, I unfortunately, no. That's a major issue. That's why you got to keep track of it yourself sometimes. Game 1 is a heartbreaker. We were up 3-2. Or, uh, sorry, 2 to nothing, And we went down 3-2 and never came back, losing 5-3. to three. Two, nothing, two goals from Vakaninen, first star. A goal and assist from Mantha. Cap oh, man. That was brutal. Oh, man. Who would we put between the pipes for this next one? And you know what? It wouldn't be the craziest thing to go to... I'm not saying it yet, but it wouldn't be the craziest thing to go to Gus just yet. I mean, I mean, like, sometime in this series, because he is a playoff guy. He had a rough season, but he's a playoff guy. Lankinen, 8-12, 13... He had made 13 saves on, what, 16 shots? Something like that. Reimer wasn't really great either. I'm going to give the net back to Lankinen. I'm going to give it back to him. Uh, plus, minuses. Well, I'm not going to really... I'm not going to make any changes yet, even if someone was a bad minus. I'm just going to count that as a as a little hiccup, hopefully. we got 20 more wins in this team. Come on. Down 1-0 in this series. Let's get right back into it. Tie it up. Make it a best of five. Auto-rotate. I, I believe it is off, but it's, uh, we'll, we'll, be taking, we'll be checking it every single game regardless. Here we go. First period, 1-0. We're back in it. Tim Stutzla gets his first of the playoffs. That's what we need to see. The first period of last game, shots were 6-6. This period, 11-10. So more of an offensive start to this game. Second period, 2 to nothing. Grigory Denisenko on the power play. And now we're up 2 to nothing. out shooting Boston 19-17. We've been here before, though. This is exactly where we were last game, and we quickly went down 3-2. We need to be coming out strong here in this third period and add to this lead. Let's go. Power play for the Bruins here. We kill it off. Thank you, penalty killers. Another power play for Boston now. We can't keep expecting to kill them. Power play for us. Killed off as well. Another power play for Boston. Killed off again. The penalty killers are gassed. And we take a 2 nothing shutout. 26 saves from Kevin Lankinen, and we will take it, tying up this series one-to-one. -one. This voice reminds me of someone. Well, I hope it's someone who you like. <laughs> 26 saves from Lankinen. I hope, I, I hope it's a friendly voice. Kachuk with two assists, Tim Stutzla with one goal, and it is a 2 nothing series. Maybe you're thinking of uh, Brad Pitt, maybe? I don't know. No, what a huge night from Lankin. Back, bouncing back from being down 1-0 in the series. Sorry, 1-0 in the series. From being pulled in the last game. <laughs> and that puts his yeah, save percentage up to a 928, of course. Big smiles. So, OV1 assist. I'm just quickly looking at the plus minuses. Negative 3 for Denisenko, but he scored. Yeah, that third line's hurting me a little bit. That's weird, because Sorelli, probably the, one of the better defensive players on this team... Should we make any lineup changes? Denisenko scored, but on the power play. Uh, negative three for Brown. We could maintain the plus one if we bring Gambrel up. Gambrel, one assist and a zero there. Hepanyemi, one goal, plus one. Marlow. Let's try that. Let's try Gambrel on the third line here. I'm not opposed to that. Dylan Gambrel also has been here. Underrated. He's been here all four seasons, just like uh, Logan Couture. He spent the first one in Belleville, but he's been a staple on this team. So, Lankin in between the pipes, this series is tied at one, and we're headed into game number three in Boston at TD Garden. Welcome to everyone watching now, we're up to 20, great to see that. If you like franchise mode, then this is the place for you. Uh, yes, I am on YouTube, Data782, so the link is on the, the, uh, the Twitch page here. If you scroll down, it'll, t it'll prompt you, it'll say click here to go to YouTube. Click on the white Android Lieutenant Commander Data, and he'll bring you to the YouTube page. 
We just passed 2.8k subscribers. We do a lot of franchise mode in NHL, MLB. I'm getting into NHL 07 franchise mode starting soon. F1, a lot of other games. So uh, oh, Logan Couture starts it off with the first shot of the night. So we'd love to have you. It would be a great it would be a great time if you join on join on to the team as well as streaming a few times a week. First period, let's go. Yes, three to nothing. Tim Stutzla adds a couple, and this game is three nothing Ottawa. Yeah, and Wii Sports, of course. But the NHL seven franchise mode. I'm excited to get that going. Shots are twenty to seven through the first period. Look at that. Couture and then two from Stutzla. The top six is uh, showing up. That's what we need from them. Second period, oh, 5 0. Hepan Yemi, two goals in three games now. He is showing up as well. And how do you do? Alex Ovechkin, his first goal of the playoffs. 5 0 sends, more than doubling the Bruins' shots. 33 to 14 right now. Wow. This is going to be another game. This is going to be a game three victory to put us up 2 1 in the series. We're going for the cup, my friends. We are going for the cup. 97 McDavid, thank you for the follow, buddy. Looking forward to seeing you around here. Mantha, 6 0. And if you want as well, the best place to join is the Discord server. That's a real blast over there. He's already dead. Six, nothing. And will that be all? No. Oh, no, shut up. That's okay. I could take that. Six, one win. Just tuned in. What did I miss? Also won't be in the chat much for a little bit. But Perfect, Hobbsy. Thank you so much. Well, game one, we lost five to three. Yeah, you know, there's going to be some Wii Sports just for anyone who caught that. Yeah. We won we lost game one five to three, and then we shut out the Bruins, what, two nothing in game two? And then a six one win here in game three. Stutzla two goals and an assist. Ovi a goal and two assists. Mantha goal and two assists. Another great performance from Kevin Lankinen. That's what we've needed from him. And we're up two one in this series. Five points in three games for Mantha. Bang. Bang. Ah, uh, Zoob. Poor Artem Zub. I'm sorry, Artem Zub. He has a broken foot down there in the minors. So, Boltzuk can go there, and I'll put Nick Malak over here. Do I have anybody else scratched? Uh, I could put Stasiak. Yeah, he has to, he'll have to go on the fourth line. Could be, eh? Lankanen, could he be a long-term option? Maybe, from a waiver pickup. And he'll... Ooh, that's negative two, but we'll survive. Oh, and I gotta fix all these things. 6-1 victory. So, that's uh, outscoring the Bruins 8-1 to one over the last two games. Back at TD Garden, no need to touch a thing. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Uh, I'll check that out after Slim. First period, one to one. Tim Stutzla again on the power play, and Andre Kasha, Kasha scoring for the Bruins. Second period, now three two Bruins. All right, so Pasternak scores on the power play. Stutzla scores his second of the night on the power play again, and then Alexia Fallo with five and a half to go in the second. It is three two Bruins, despite our outshooting them 29-16, almost double. It is 3-2 for Boston, but we're not even close to being done yet. We've got 20 more minutes of action. Suits is showing up, but I need everyone else to come through as well. I need some action from... Who am I looking for? Brady Kachuk. That's who I need some action from. Let's go. Brady, where have you been, buddy? Answer the call. I don't think Reimer's going to retire. Just I don't know how his overall will do over the offseason. A Stanley Cup could help that, though. Halfway through the third, nothing happening. The Bruins are taking a lot of shots. We're almost still shooting them. Only yes, there's Jake DeBrusque against his old team as well. Forgot to oh, mention. Then Kaprizov restores the one goal lead. Anything late? Late heroics in the final minute. Nothing. Ah, oh, Jake DeBrusque ties it at three. But then Kirill Kaprizov or Kaprizov. Ah, oh, we outshot them 35 29, but the Bruins take it four to three. Jake DeBrusque against his t old team. Ah, uh, two goals from Stutzla as well. That was a good game. Krill the Thrill. Oop, wrong franchise. Ah, uh, and this series is tied at two, and it's a best of three. Uh, Formenton's back in the lineup, so that means we got to do some roster moves here. Couldn't hold it. So we got to move somebody down. Hold on. Uh, someone's got to go down. But Formenton's a playable injury. Does he have to really go through waivers? Uh, actually, I'll send down, yeah, I'll send down Jérémy Roy. There we go. That's what I'll do. For I don't think I'll play him yet. The Belleville Senators are playing against the Marlies. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, they're playing against... And they're up 2-0 on the series. Five points in two games for Vitaly Abramov. So, that was a tough one. I think Lankinen still gets the net. Mark, thank you for the host as well here on Twitch. Lankinen keeps the net, I believe. Uh, For How did he do in the playoffs last season? Oh, the Yotes swept the Knights? Didn't see that. In the playoffs last year, he had one assist in four games. So I think I'm happy to keep 
uh, uh, Marlo, especially while it's a playable injury. Do I need to touch the defense at all? Because Keith's ready to go. Hewitt negative one, Sanderson plus two. No, defense okay. Defense is okay. Uh, we just gotta. We just need more secondary scoring here. The third line, one goal and negative four. Uh, no, 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 Denisenko. I can't have that. I can't have that, Denisenko. I'm gonna get. Yeah, how's Logan Brown looking? Uh, still negative two, but I'm gonna Hepanyemi because Hepanyemi can play wing as well. 77 faceoffs. Okay, let's do this. Hepanyemi to the third line because he's been doing very well actually. Logan Brown, I want you to center the fourth line. Then Asenko play with Brown and Marlowe, and then Gambrel with Sorelli and Hepanyemi. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, we're ready to go for game number five. Okay, Canadian Tire Center, game five. It's a best of three. Let's show up. First period, 1-1. Dylan Gambrel, there he is in that third line. And Lankow scoring his first of the playoffs. Shots 12-7 for Ottawa. Yeah, definitely another option. Second period, 2-1. Kirill Kaprizov. Shots are 29 to 14. Gotta give Lankinen some support here, boys. Let's go. Third period, down by one. Let's go. Who's gonna score? Brady, where have you been? Dougie Hamilton, what's up? Shabbat, power play, nothing. 10 minutes to go here in the third period. Shots are 35 to 17. Five minutes left. Linus Allmark, bro, you kill me. No. No. Shots 39 to 19. 38 saves from Allmark. Okay, now we're getting serious here. Now we're getting serious here. Grabowski fractured John Belleville. I don't have enough players in Belleville. I don't have enough players. Did they give me some? I have uh, Jeremy Wah. I have two defensemen playing in Belleville uh, as forwards. Is it time to turn? Well, there's only two goals. It, it wasn't it wasn't Lankinen's fault. It had nothing to do with Lankinen. It was the offense not coming through. I think it's the lines that need to be changed more than the goaltending. Lankinen is still at a 906. Reimer came in for a little bit and had an 894. So I don't know if it's time to turn to Reimer. I know, but I don't think it was really. I don't think I can really put it on him. Gambrel did well on that second on that third line. Sorelli woke up a bit with a negative two. Uh, Hepanyemi. Denisenko, one goal, negative five. Brown, one assist, negative four. And Marlowe, zeros. Negative one, negative one. One, two, two, one. Okay, can we put... Can I do... Uh, yeah, Hamilton, Graves, first pair. Gus for Kevin, maybe it's for... Uh, that's very risky as well. To pull out Lankinen and put someone who's been in the press box since, like, I don't know, December... That's very risky as well. Graves can go in the first pair. Unless I go 3-1. Now Graves is a monster. 5-0-1. But I don't know what to do here. Do I swap the centers? No, again, that, that makes it... Uh, no, that doesn't work as well. Yeah, we're missing... Ah, I f totally forgot last episode to trade up... To trade for... Uh, to trade for Nick Foligno. It's because I really want Hamilton to get the plus 5. That's the thing. Shabbat with a plus 3 is nice. Well, that's, this is the question. Do we want Shabbat Hamilton at 95-92 and then Graves Branstrom at 84-88? Or do we want Graves Hamilton at 88-94 and Shabbat and Branstrom normally at 92-87? Yeah, stack it. Okay, 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 we'll stack. No problem. I don't think I want to bring in uh, Formentin either. Duncan Keith, I don't know where I'd slot him in because the defense on the third pair has been okay. Yeah, it's, oh, it's always difficult to deal with chemistry in the playoffs. Hewitt, negative one. Sanderson, plus two, but Hewitt's playing more. He gets a uh, penalty kill time. If I put in Duncan Keith for Hewitt, it keeps a plus one. Would he go on the penalty kill? Yeah, he would go on the penalty kill. Power plays at plus five. Come on, where's the power play? Well, it's been good power plays. It just hasn't been great. What I'm going to do is take off Denisenko. Denisenko's killing me here. Uh, who could we put instead of Denisenko? We give Marlo a little extra ice time to get it done at the age of 44. It still gives it only a plus one. I only want Marlo at the point, though. I'd probably want DeBrusque. Shabbat. I'll put Kachuk at the point, I guess. DeBrusque is more of the scorer right now. Let's try that. Lankin in between the pipes. 
do I put Stutzla or yeah I'm gonna keep Stutzla first line and we're gonna roll like that this is this is crazy my friends come on we're such a good team give me some of that 44 year old magic game six TD Garden keep it alive and bring it home we, we're not dropping in round one game six for the second straight season let's do it show up do your job first period one nothing Eric Brandstrom Thank you very much on the second defensive pair. Second period, do your job. Oh. Mantha scores to make it 2-0, and then Athanasiu and Lawton, two. both on the power play. That better not be Keith's unit. Duncan Keith, bro, it better not be your unit. Two power play goals in 10 minutes. Who's taking the penalties? Who's doing it? Kachuk, you've been so... Two, and we're on the power... Again, moving into the next period. High sticking double minor for Mantha and then DeBrusque tripping. Kachuk slashes with two seconds left in the period. Now we're off to the penalty kill in the third period now. And the first shot of the per excuse me, the period's gonna go in. That's how the glitch always works, right? Times four speed. Ugh, power play Bruins. Early in the third period. Okay, thank goodness we killed that one off. Power play for us now. Oh, and we don't do anything on it. That was a short one, though. Power play Bruins. We kill it off as well. Me! Crazy Bello, welcome! But then Kaprizov. Oh, come on! Kaprizov scores again. Power play, please. Okay, we're gonna hop in. Now we're gonna hop in. Power play, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Crazy, we need your we need your mojo here. We need some luck. We're hopping in for the power play. Ten minute periods, yeah. Kirill Burlat. What a what a trade deadline pickup for the Bruins. I hate to have to go in so early, but game tied, power play, halfway through the period. Let's go. We got this. We got this. Yeah, you know what? I will I will coach it as well. I'll lock on to coach mode. And like I say often, I prefer the overhead so I can actually see the jersey names of the players. But if all of you prefer um, true broadcast, we can we can do that. I personally am not a big fan of it, but I'm here, you know, there's one of me and 16 of you, so whatever you want to see is what we'll do. But I will lock on to uh, uh, coach. Overhead, lovely. Great. Coach. Overhead, bang. Okay. Coach, and I can't change the lines yet, but there we go. Face-off win for Logan Couture. Power play time. Let's do it, boys. Here we go. Showtime. Logan Couture, the 99-point man. Over to Alex Ovechkin. Come on, Ovi. Get that on net. Ovi, shoot that. Please, Ovi, shoot the bong. Rayko's going to take it. Yeah, and yeah, don't touch him. Just let him do whatever he wants and kill a minute off the penalty, right? Yeah, perfect. Get follow. Just dumps it in, gets hit. At least you can get board pinned. Okay, Ovi, skate, skate, skate. Look in the middle. There it is. Oh, Lawton takes it away. Let's go. Keep it in the zone. Pareko, you follow. Carlo, and that's going to get out of the zone. And now here comes Scott Lawton. Might as well score a shorthanded goal here, right? Yeah, just let him shoot. Thank you very much, uh, Dougie Hamilton. Dougie, bring it into the zone. Nine minutes left. 30 seconds on the power play. And that's Shabbat. No, I don't want to be famous. Get away from me. Logan Couture. Come on, Logan. Logan. Ovi. What are you doing? Put it on. Uh... Dougie. Logan, come on, power play, Ovi, no, and they... Oh, Ovi, 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 Ovi. Power play ends, and then he trips, and now we're on the penalty kill. Yeah, I have uh, I have Panda as a mod, but I think he's away for the moment. Eight and a half to go. You gotta play. You gotta kill his penalty now. Duncan Keith, up to who is 13? I forget who's 13. Is that Gambrel? 71. There's Shirelli. Anthony Shirelli in the corner. Okay, has three guys on him. That's cool. Down in the corner is Gambrel, I believe. Guess who's the point? Okay, we have a little offensive zone presence here. Okay, dump that in. Shirelli, look in front, Bello. <laughs> Please put it on that Keith. Shirelli, come on. What a penalty kill this is. And then he gets board pinned. Just skate into the boards and get pinned. Yeah, that's always what we want to do. Okay, Duncan Keith. And yeah, you get crushed. Your poor 40-year-old bones can just be smashed into dust. Studnika coming in now. Yeah, just let him skate by. Good. 
Take it away, dump it down. Or no, just, okay, thank goodness it goes offside. Let's get the second unit out there. Yeah, not much else to do, really. Normal face-off, large box. Logan Couture and Logan Brown are out there, the Logans. Big face-off win. Dump that out, good, good, good. Kaprizov's now, behind his net, up to Studnika. He's gonna lead a three-on-two charge for the Bruins. Stops up, then regain, then restarts. Then the Senators get, uh, regain possession over the red line. Is Logan Couture does a deke, gets board pinned. Classic, and Studnika's gonna take that. Out. You're, you're pulling a mark here. Is that what you're doing, uh, Legend? Just bash the team until the other thing, until the other. Wait, hold on, hold on. Give that pass. Yes, scores. Game tied at three. Yes, finally the pass is made, and Anthony Sorelli scores his first of the playoffs short-handed, and we tie this game up at three. Let's go. The mark tactics come through. Bash the team until the opposite happens. Let's go. Thank you, Legend. Great pass from Shabbat. What a penalty kill. That unit is flying out there. What a penalty kill. Wow. And this game's tied at 3 with 7.07 to go in the third. Really well done. Wow. From Shabbat and Gambrel. Let's go. Keep it going. 34 seconds more to kill. 3-3 three, three game. Mental belly. Let's go. Sorelli's the new Connor Brown. Yeah. Anthony Sorelli didn't have a good end to the season. Come on, stand strong. Duncan Keith wearing Artem Zub's number two out there. Off the boards. Here, oh, Keith got to stay on side, Bella. 3-3, we cannot squander that. We just, DeBrusque, like that. I'm thinking back to when DeBrusque tied at 2-2. And then Kaprizov scored with a few minutes left. Face off win from Sorelli to Shabbat. Back to Dylan Gambro. Gets through the zone, gives it to Shabbat. Backhand pad save from Allmark. He'll hang on to that. Good. We have we have more we've had more offensive time than the Bruins have on this uh, Boston power play. Nine seconds left to kill. Sorelli ties him up, but Yafalo will pick it up. Up to Trent Frederick. We're back to five on five. He gets bumped, and now we're back to full action. Oh, sorry. Now we are. Spoke. I jumped the gun a little bit. Here we go. Trent Frederick. We're gonna get that first line out there when possible. He's gonna skate behind his own net with just over six minutes left to go in this third period. Picked off from Sorelli. He's gonna come in. Stop score. Anthony Sorelli makes it happen! Dylan Gambrel puts us up 4-3! to three. Oh my goodness, what a shorthanded unit! Those were the shorthanded boys that came through! Sorelli just picked it up, got the shot on that, hit some legs, and Gambrel's wide open to pot in that rebound. Oh my goodness, off the defensive zone turnover. The San Jose boys. Logan Couture and Dylan Gambrel, Sorelli really showing up right now. This is what we signed you that big contract for. We traded for your rights, we signed you, and now you're paying dividends. Let's go. Four three sends with 6.05 to go in the third period. Anthony Sorelli getting that assist. Oh boy, still a lot of hockey left to go though. Scott Lawton, over to Athanasiu. That's stopped by Lankinen. Can't hang on to that one. Turnover Frederick. <laughs> 5.52 to go in the third. Defensive zone faceoff for Timmy Stutzla. One back off the kick. Lovely. Duncan Keith gets it over to uh, Jake Sanderson. Kachuk over to Stutzla now. Stutzla. K Keith is wide open to the point. He'll give it to Sanderson though. Back to Keith. Now to Ovi. Kind of, was that tipped I think? But a uh, blocker save from Linus Allmark. Can't get it. Oh yeah. Just quite. Just goes over there a little bit there. Just. <laughs> Sorelli always coming up clutch here, and IRL, absolutely. Uh, I probably should put the second line there, but it's okay. We'll keep the first line for a moment. Stutzla at the faceoff, wins it to Keith. Sanderson can't get it quite over the line. Pashnak, he's going to just squeeze him out there. Pashnak comes back, though, gives it up to Brad Marchand. He gets hit by Keith. Zabanajet in front. Oh, yes, broken up by, who's 18? I forget. But then, he, oh, Holland delayed penalty. Broken up, and he almost put it into, into his own uh, net there. Delayed penalty. Lovely. Power play time. Who is number uh, 18 again? Is it That's DeBrusque, I think? Yeah. Captain Brad Marshall going to the box here. There he is. Captain Brad Marshall with the trip. All right. Power play action. We're up by one with five-ish minutes to go. Marlo Couture and DeBrusque are out there. Uh, 4.36 to go in the third period. Face-off win. Back to the point. Here's Patrick Marlowe. 44 years of age. Is he 45 now, maybe? Marlowe has the puck down low. Gets a shot on net. Allmark will hang on. 
There he is, grizzled veteran Patrick Marlowe. Raised the cap, raised the cup as captain two years ago. St stayed on through last season with the first round elimination. Stayed on again for this season for one last ride. Face off win. Here's a chance. That's a weird redirection on net, like a backhand that was fanned on, kind of. Dumped out, and let's restart it. Here is Brandstrom. Gets that up to Jake DeBrusque. DeBrusque can't get far over the blue line. Tsugnika's going to clear that out. We'll keep the same lines out there. Back behind the nets. I don't control the, the coaching uh, in that way. I don't, there's no one-through-one one option for me, Slim. Marlo can't get that shot off. From the point, big blocker save. Oh, neutral zone trap. Okay, I thought you were saying like, there's something specifically called one-through-one. One. Neutral zone trap. Hold on, hold on. It's a power play. We're not doing the trap on a power play. Patrick Marlowe still has possession. Gets it over to Logan Couture. To DeBrusque! Big save from Allmark, and he'll hang on to that. Super experienced. Ovi. Oh, nice save by Allmark on Dougie Hamilton there. Off the faceoff. Let's go. Ovi, Stutzla, and Mantha. 3.35 to go. Faceoff win from Stutzla. Back to the point. To Mantha. Big kick save from Allmark. And he'll dump that down. Alright, we'll look at that after the power play. Another rush now. Here we go. Timmy Stutzla over the red line. Deeks nobody. Regains it. Nice. Okay, set up some zone presence. There we go. From the point, hits off a skate. And Allmark will hang on once again. Uh, you know what? They're pretty rested. I'm going to keep everybody out there. No changes for me. I'm liking this, uh, the pressure the, and, the, and the presence we've been having here. All the fans here in Bruins, in Bruins land in Boston all sitting down. Back to nine and up to Yafalo. Is he going to dump it? There you go. Into the opposite corner. Here is Dougie Hamilton. No, be careful, Dougie. Also a former Boston Bruin. Sorry, 21 is Dougie. 26 is uh, Brandstrom. I keep misspeaking off the numbers here. Dougie to the point. Mantha, big glove save from Allmark. He'll throw it out to Yafalo. Lawton gets it at his own blue line. Gets crushed, and now here comes a fight. A clean hit. And he gets up, no injury. And Mantha has to drop the gloves with, who is at Yafalo. Uh, at least he'll boost the energy a little bit, especially if he gets the win. Come on, Mantha, fight hard. I don't like that he's in the box for five minutes now, though. Some nice uppercuts. There you go, a couple uppercuts from Mantha. Okay, Jaws. Oh, and he just body slams him into the ice. Ooh, boy. Okay. Wow, the second line is dead for the Bruins. Yeah, but that's a nice boost for us with 2.49 to go. So, I don't know why it's saying forward line one when I'm still in the power play, but if Fallo just drops the gloves and goes mad. Oh, because four on four. Ah, so, okay, so I, that's that's why. That's why. All right, that's okay. The tour loses the draw to Zabanajad. Zaboral poked away. Nice. Ovi loses possession, but at least he got it out of the zone. And now it's going four on four for a few more seconds. And now it's going to be a Bruins power play for a minute 45 because of the penalty for what Manitha did. Here is Shabbat. Up to Brandstrom now. Sorry, to Hamilton. And then, oh, Couture gets just posterized there. And here's Studnika. No, can't quite get it. And goes offside. Defense collapsing. Offense with a diamond. Gambrel and Sorelli are out there. They were monsters on the last county kill. We can't let them get back in here. We have, this has to be a strong kill. They're two for six, the Bruins are tonight. Two of their three goals coming on a power play. Brad Marchand. He can't get it in, okay. Now here's Duncan Keith, and he'll clear it down. Nice, smart, veteran play from Duncan Keith to clear that down. Kirill Kapper's off. Board pin, classic. Marshawn will take it now. Athanasiu is a three-on-two rush for the Bruins. Studnika over the blue line and into the Ottawa zone. Gets bumped, loses possession. Uh, then that's Brandstrom up to Gambrel. Dylan can't get it through the skates. But hold on, another shot. That's a kick save. But uh, hey, it doesn't have to be strong offensive opportunities. Just... I'll take more time spent in Boston's uh, zone than ours. I'll take it. Get it, and we get it out once again. Lovely. Anthony Sorelli. Goal and assist in this period. Dylan Gambrell. He's trying to get it back to Sorelli, and he takes his own shot. Stopped by Almar Kaprizov. Will take it up. It will give it up to Studnika. And now it's a two-on-two -two chance. Gets through Keith, but then can't get it to whoever is passing it to. And Lankin will just say, hey, thanks. For, thank you very much. I'll hang on to that. Soft win from Couture. Don't get board pinned. Don't get board pinned. Thank you. Hit the thing on the pad on the left. What do you want to see here? What do you mean exactly? What's going on over there? Okay, Pasternak, you're going to get possession. You change the strats. Uh, yeah, timeout wouldn't be a bad idea. In front. Oh, big redirection save from Lankinen. <sighs> Don't just stand there. Good luck. Thank you. Logan Couture, eight seconds left. Come on. Just kill the last few seconds here. Then we can take a timeout. Regain. Oh, 
just can't get it through traffic. Back with an opportunity. Shabbat at the point. Gives it to Sanderson, I think. Are these numbers that ever... Oh, no. Bad giveaway. No, get in there! <sighs> no big save! Hold on, now we're gonna take a pause. What was that? Right here, I'm losing my train of thought here because of the jersey numbers. Because they're not their actual numbers. Like, this is Sanderson, right? No, this is Graves. Graves is 27. Oh, okay. So, Graves... Right here, that was like a weird play. Dump in, and then Stutzla regains it. And then, so yeah, Stutzla... What's he doing? Why? It got poke checked, hit off a skate. And then I have... Kachuk coming in, who can easily cut him off right here. Kachuk decides to skate the opposite way, or not the opposite way, but kind of stops up in the middle, and then is not cutting him off at all. And then a huge save from Lankin that keeps us alive in these playoffs. Okay, I don't know what that was. Get it out. Goalie's pulled. Oh, he scores! Hey, how do you like that? And Ovi scores right as we resume. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And that'll be a win. We're headed to seven, my friends. Alex Ovechkin second in the playoffs on the power play. Sorry, on the power on the empty net. Nice. Look at that. There's like a look at that. There's like a line on the ice that goes exactly towards the net. Do you see that? From where Ovechkin shoots, there's like a line on the ice. Can't really see it in that angle. That's weird. Okay, we're headed to seven, my friends. Let's take a quick timeout. Am I able to do that, or is it too late here? Uh, can I call? Yeah, call a quick timeout. That'll get us back to full strength to just hold them off. No no funny business in the last 35 seconds. Graves and Shabbat get the assists. Another opportunity for uh, Dougie Hamilton to do something. Because Dougie's not number 21. What number is Dougie usually? Can someone tell me that? I'm going to change his number. It's confusing me. Broken up by Ovechkin. Empty net again. Gets it over to Kachuk. Can he score his first goal of the playoffs? Nope. How much time do you think Game 7 would use up? <laughs> and Lankin will hang on. Uh, streaming? Mm, depends how quick it goes, but I I would say if it's a normal sim, it wouldn't take, like, more than 50 megs. But if it's, like, a long in-game thing, it could be a, a good 500 megs, maybe. I don't know, that's just, uh, just spitballing it. Defensive zone face-off, 11.6 seconds to go with the, with the empty net as well. Stutzla wins it, back to Brady Kachuk. Can you at least get it out of the zone, please? Dougie, Dougie, over to Stutzla. Brady, and we'll call it there, my friends. We take down the Bruins from down four to three to a five three. Sorry, from down three to two to a five three victory with shots being forty five to thirty. What a show from the defense as well. The Shabbat to Sorelli right there. The Sorelli shot that Gambrel took as well. Yes, sir, Hobbsy. See you soon. Second star, Dylan Gambrel, the goal and assist. Not sure who the first star would be. Sorelli was the hero, but who would the first star be? That's a different question. We were 0 for 6 on the power play. Oh, yeah, there you go. A goal and two assists for Anthony Sorelli. 0 for 6 on the power play. We got to change that. That's. I think we need to touch up on the power play a little bit. But we're headed to 7. We are headed to 7. First star for Trent Frederick, yeah. <sighs> yes, absolutely, Lunchbox. 8 points in 6 games for Anthony Mantha. Uh, what's up down here? So, oh wow, now we're headed to game five from two wins and then two losses against the the Marlies. So, do we want to change anything here? I liked the forward lines, but the special teams here, I don't know what's up. I don't know what to say about the special teams. Six points, six, maybe it's the second unit again. Oh for six, come on. Brady Kachuk is killing me out here. Three assists is nice, but I need some goals from him. Couture and DeBrusque, could I swap up? Let's get DeBrusque on the first unit and put Mantha on the second unit, maybe. Just try and get something going a little bit there. I don't know. Just something. Marlowe's not ideal. No, Keith at an 82. I don't think so. How Did you do anything on the power play in the season? I didn't check his power play numbers. He had one power play point in the regular season. Yeah. Okay, you know what? What the heck? Kachuk, go there. Duncan Keith. Oh, no, it gives it a zero. No, I can't do that. How about another defenseman, then? Brands from Hamilton. How about Sanderson? Sanderson, actually, he could do well. Yeah, he has... Uh, hmm, actually, no. But he's a, he's a created player, which means he shoots more. Maybe that'll generate something. Let's try that. Why not? 
Yeah, penalty kill needs to also be looked at. The Sorelli Gambrel unit is just golden, no problem. But maybe Keith is an issue here. So I'm going to take out Keith. Shabbat, Graves, Breath. I'll, I'll put either Hamilton or Sanderson. Zero for, yeah, I'm going to keep Dougie then. Four and a half star defense. Dougie can play with Brandstrom. Yep, there's the change right there. Extras. I'm going to put Stutzla. Actually, that doesn't really matter. But four and four, I'm going to put Stutzla there. Lankinen, 905 save percentage. Oh, yeah, three man PK. Special teams. Three man PK. Yeah, we'll put. Uh, unless Hamilton gives it like a negative three. Negative two. Negative one, negative one. Okay, I can deal with negative one, negative one. That's better. Whatever. Okay, 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 okay. Game seven at the Canadian Tire Center. President's Trophy winners. Let's go. Let's wake up. It's a huge 5-3 victory, but it was too close for comfort. Game seven action. Can you feel it? In Ottawa, let's push our way through to the second round and keep on trucking. First period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Shots 11-6 to six for the Senators. Second period, I'm going to keep it rolling here in the second period. Just full simulation. We need some offense here to beat Linus Elmark. We need offense. Brady Kachuk, wake up and f answer the call for once. I've been calling your name. Power play for the Bruins. We kill it off. Thank you very much. Penalty kill is one for one so far. The second period comes to a close. Shots are 21-12. to 12. 21 to 12. 0 0 game. Third period action. Oh boy, this is having me on the edge of my seat right here. Two minutes in, nothing coming yet. Well, it's only two minutes, but assuming by 30 seconds at a time. Power play Bruins! Power play Bruins. Stay strong, boys. Big kill! Big kill! Power play for the Senators now. Let's go. We need to take advantage of this, boys! Please, power play nothing! Ah, uh, pause it for a moment here. 8.56 to go. Who's taking the penalties so far? Penalty for Mantha for holding. And then uh, Vakanai in two minutes for holding the stick. Ah, uh, we're more, a little more half than halfway through this period. We're going at times two speed now, even, even slower. 8.56 to go. Shots 27-18 for the Senators. If it remains 0-0, we'll hop in with five minutes to go. But still, lots of opportunities here. Seven minutes, a lot of hockey to be played. Ah, it's too slow. Times four, Sim. A lot of hockey to go. 5.59, 5.27. All right, 4.48. With just under five to go, we are hopping into this game in Ottawa. We have 93 offense, 94 defense, 82 goaltending against the Bruins, who are 93, 90, 86. Let's do it. Lunchbox coming, calling a Hamilton goal. Offensive zone faceoff. Sanders win it. Sanderson can't get it through traffic. Gambrel to Sorelli now. Sorelli on the end boards in the corner. Can't get it through though. And Pareko's going to get it up to Martinook now. DeBrus gets getting the winner, says Narf, and also says Legend as well. Martinook gets hit. Hepanyemi picks it up. Up to Gambrel now. Gambrel stops up and gets it through. Nice. Keith up to Sorelli. Back to Gambrel. Can't get it through. That's a broken stick for someone on the Bruins. Take advantage, boys. And like, oh no. If it's Bruins, it's Capra's off, says Legend. All right. Martinook still out there. 78 overall in the fourth line. Martinook just going through everyone like butter. Sorelli picks it up. Thank you. Gambrill. Let's change these lines up. Come on. We need a whistle here. Three, three and a half to go. Graves says chillin'. Martinook hit by Keith. There we go. Up to Gambrill again. Gambrill been all over the place. He's trying to dump it in, but couldn't quite. And he's going to lose possession to Pareko. Board pins him. Gets some help from Sorelli. Regains possession. Gambrill does. Over to Sorelli. In front. Oh, big save all mark. That was... No, that's uh, Hepanyemi who had that opportunity there. Studnika is going to dump it in. Just over two and a half to go now. Sanderson. Where's the line change over here? Do I need to take over coach even for simple line changes like this? Hepanyemi. On net bellow. Poke checked by Pareko. Hepanyemi to Gambrill. Back to Hepanyemi. Rip that please. Through travel. Hey, rebound. Big pad save. All mark. Oh, what an opportunity that was. Through a scramble in front. Under two to go now. Both teams are lumbering along. Sanderson. Get that out. Keith. Up to Gambrill. Here we go. Two on one. Gambrill to Hepanyemi. Over the net. Oh. Allmark was sprawling out. No whistles going anywhere here. Zaboral. Broken up by Hepanyemi. Minute and a 14 to go. 
I don't want to change the lines. I feel like I'm, if, unless we dump it in, I'm not going to feel good to change the lines. It's going to be a bad change. Duncan Keith up to Sorelli now. Sorelli, you got to dump that in. No. Stunika. Under a minute now. Stunika. Don't let him come in like... Why is the third line on for five minutes? Why is the third line on for five minutes? Both from both teams. I need to go and lock on to the coach now. And even if I was locked on to the coach, why was no one dumping at all? Why is there no dumping? Why is there no offensive uh, setting up in the zone? Nothing. Just a constant chase for the puck by both teams. That is so disgusting. Why is the third line on that long? How dead are they over here, right? Look, yeah, absolutely zero energy at all. I have to pull the goalie here fast. But of course the Bruins win the face off. That's great. Zvanajad goes offside. No, I, can't, I can't pull the goalie from there. 45.4 seconds to go. Oh man. This is unbelievable. I'm looking 25 minutes tonight. Just get it into the zone. As soon as that puck crosses their blue line, I'm pulling the goalie. If we can get it out of ours, maybe. Pasternak. Come on. Skate, Ovi. Skate. You old mule. Let's go. Shabbat. Let's go. Over the blue line. Bang. Over the blue line. Great. Pull the goalies. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. We will not go gently. Let's go. Pull that goalie. Stutzla gets absolutely demolished the second we come back in. Back in Einen to McAvoy. And they're just let him walk in and shoot, right? Come on. Regain possession. Nice. Into the zone. Ovi. 18 seconds. Ovechkin. Let's go. On net, Ovi. Please. Just put it on net, Shabbat. <laughs> put it on net, boys. On net. And just let him walk in and shoot. There you go. There you go. Somehow that didn't go through. Final second. Yeah, great job. Sixty-one wins. Plus seventy. In a one game showdown, the best team doesn't always win in those cases. Twenty more wins than this team. I'm speechless. Shots 33 to 19. 33 to 19. Oh my goodness. I'd be tempted to re-simulate this just, to, like, just from Calendar Sim and see if that would have any difference. Game 7, one nothing loss, JV. Game 7, one nothing loss. Mantha, 8 points in 7 games. Stutzla, 5 goals. OV two goals, six points. Gambrel, Couture, Sorelli, Hamilton, Shabbat, all with four points. No problem. No problem, JP. Marlowe, zero points in seven games. Duncan Keith, one assist. There he is. Denisenko, one goal and a negative five for Denisenko in seven games. I'm, I'm getting pretty tired of Denisenko. I'm getting pretty tired of him. 44 points was nice to see him wake up a little bit. But last playoffs in this play, he has combined for two goals in 12 playoff games, with a negative three. What's his average ice time here? 10.53. Ah, it's not crazy, but come on. Brandstrom, two points. DeBrusque, only two points. Kachuk with three assists. Come on. Lankin, it's not Lankinen's fault. 9.10 save percentage and 2.37 goals against average. Good numbers from Lankinen. There were so many different ways we could have played this. We could have put Gus from the beginning, but again, we try to go with realism, right? He doesn't play all season. It wouldn't make sense. This guy was playing lights out, and he still did play lights out. It wouldn't have made sense to put in Gus. We would have needed a lot more. It was the goal scoring that didn't come through. Aside from Stutzla and Mantha, let's say even... Yeah, it was to Stutzla and Mantha. Take them out of the equation. You have Gambrel, Ovi, and Hepanyemi scoring twice, and then you have a bunch of other players scoring only once in seven... Excuse me, again, hiccups in seven games. And you have other guys just doing absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. The classic Linus Allmark curse. Yeah, what were Allmark's numbers? Let me see what yours were, Linus Allmark. 
that you simulate like a god all the time, like I said before. Yeah, 922. He had a 3.01 goals against average. Not even good goals against average, but good save percentage. Cal Peterson came in for a little bit. He played well. Always the goalies that are beating us here. Any contract extensions we want to look on, look at before we get to the offseason? All expiring. No, nothing really to look at. If I exit right here, yeah, I'll, I'll save and exit. I'm going to see, will, it, will I have the option to go back? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so that's, yeah, here's the backup. Yeah, let's just do a quick calendar sim just to see what happens. Let's just simulate and see what happens on the calendar. If we're doing just a pure calendar sim of the playoffs. There we go. 3-2 win. Game 1-4-1. One, one, there we go. Let's sweep the Bruins. There we go. 2-1 win. Head coach can do whatever in Belleville. There you go. There you go. 5 nothing Sweep of the Bruins in round number 1. There you go. Uh, walk them go down like we did before. Great. Sweep them in 4 games. Four, four games, four game sweep. There we go. Buffalo Sabers next. Uh, Jake DeBrusque, MCL sprain out until July. Definitely plays a part in the simulation. Uh, does Marlow give it a plus three? He does. Yeah, Marlow, back to that third line, baby. And Formenton can play here, and there you go. Why? I said replace in all lines. So why does it not replace in all lines? Okay, there we go. 7-4 win in game one. Four, yeah, we're 6-0. Oh. There we go. 4-3. Let's sweep the Sabres now. Let's just sweep the Sabres. Yeah, there we go. Sweep round one. Sweep round two. Let's see. Round number three. Conference finals against the New York Islanders. Here we go. There we go. We're 9-0. and oh. Just keep on going. Hey, there's the first loss. Aww. 1-0 win. 8-0 win. 7-4 loss. 4-2 win. Hey, we're 12-3. And, and we're off to the Stanley Cup finals. Woohoo! Stanley Cup Finals. Did I can I even? I have to call up someone from from Belleville now. Stanley Cup Finals, yay! Who are we calling up? Uh, we said Seneshin's gonna be called up. It's such a disconnect between the slow sim and the calendar sim. EA Logic, baby. All right, there we go. Stanley Cup Finals against the Winnipeg Jets. 4-2 loss in Game 1. Game 2, 6-3 win. Don't care in the AHL. 3-2 loss. 3-2 overtime loss. Oh, they could win the Cup right here. The, the, oh, and then they do. All right. So, it's not a Stanley Cup, but it's a Stanley Cup Final when you go through the calendar sim. doesn't make sense. We shut out teams like crazy and sweep the first two rounds and then these 3-1 losses against Winnipeg. But maybe they're a really good team. I didn't see their lineup. And 22 points in 20 games for Tim Stutzla. And what else happens? Just quickly looking at the stats here. Uh, Ovechkin, 13 goals, 21 points. Hamilton, a monster. Kachuk scoring great. Yep. Denisenko shows up and scores 10 points in 15 games. Marlowe has 9 points in 20 games. What a joke. What a joke. And goaltending. Lankinen. Yeah, there you go. Great. Another Canadian team wins the cup as well. So just to say... Not that we win the Stanley Cup necessarily, but we do go to the Stanley Cup Finals in a calendar sim. Okay, so we won't sim to draft, but I will sim to June, so I can just update the uh, scouting stuff. But let's just, by then, if there's a cup champion, we'll, we'll, we'll check that out in the awards and blah, blah, blah. And of course, Belleville's playing at the same time, so we'll keep notes on that. Let's just, whatever, best lines in Belleville. Overtime loss, overtime uh, loss, overtime loss, then a loss, then a win. Then a win, overtime loss against Cleveland, by the way. 5-5 five and five and a 4 kilo. All right, we go 5-6. and six. After another, doesn't make sense. Such a good team as well in Belleville. And they go 5-6 and six in the playoffs. That's another joke right there. Back to the NHL now. Uh, it's Winnipeg and Tampa Bay in the Stanley Cup Finals. And it's, is it an early Stanley Cup? No, it's going to go to the end of May here. And the Winnipeg Jets win the Stanley Cup. Hey, just like in the other simulation. Winnipeg wins. Charlotte wins the AHL Calder Cup. And there we go. Yay. This, and you know what? This, the Cup stays in Canada. It's Ottawa, Toronto, and Winnipeg for the last three Stanley Cups. Yeah, there it is. Ottawa Senators, President's Trophy. It was Winnipeg and Tampa in the finals. Crazy, eh? And they won in yours, Lunchbox. Weird. So let's check the individual awards. We're hoping for some... I don't know if there's going to be hearts, because McKinnon's probably going to win the heart and the Art Ross. But hopefully, definitely the Norris for Dougie Hamilton, and maybe the Jennings for Lankinen and Reimer. Let's see. Individual awards. McKinnon wins the Art Ross. 
Heart, hey, let's go! Logan Couture wins the Heart Trophy at the age of 35 with 99 points out, or was he 36 even? Logan Couture just turns back the clock and wins the Heart Trophy. Wow, what a trade that ended up being for us. He's become a staple in Ottawa, just a fan favorite. What a guy. I'm going to take the A off of Kachuk for not showing up in the playoffs and give it to Logan Couture. Wow, massive respect to Logan Couture winning the Hart Trophy. Wow. Dougie Hamilton, of course. That's a third consecutive James Norris. Wow. Pulling the three-peat there. Dougie Hamilton. Back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back James Norris Memorial Trophies. Lady Bing goes to McKinnon. Calder goes to Shane Wright. Con Smythe to Connor Hellebuck. Vezina goes to Vasilevsky. Jennings, yes! Let's go! Lankinen and Reimer winning the Jennings Trophy. Yes! Great, very well deserved. And while it's by, it's not, it wasn't really a big question of would they get it because it's according to the stats, but we hadn't checked out the stats really. Dante Fabro wins the Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Duchamplain, the coach of the Vegas Golden Knights. Great hair. Selkie, the Ryan O'Reilly Award, goes to Barzil. Ryan O'Reilly hasn't won this award at all in this simulation. Logan Couture also winning the Ted Lindsay. Wow, the NHLPA loves him as well. And Austin Matthews wins the Morris Richard for the first time since Ovechkin had won the last four in a row. Any awards down in the AHL for Belleville? Yeah, uh, Vitaly Abramov won the equivalent of the Lady Bing. Great. And the playoff tree in the end. So we lost in seven to the Bruins, who lost in seven to the, uh, sorry, the Lightning, who went on to get swept from the Stanley Cup Finals by the Winnipeg Jets. So I'm not going to touch much else. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it off here because off camera, I'm going to go and update the scouting. And then next episode, we'll just sim to the draft. So I won't touch anything else here, but we do need to consider moving into next episode. Do we want to make any trades at the draft? Is Denisenko moving a possibility? I think it is. I think that's a possibility. We do have our first overall pick and the third overall pick. Uh, th sorry, first round and third round pick. So we pick in the late 20s, if not 31 probably. Yeah, don't we pick 31 as President Trophy? I'm not sure how it works exactly because we lost in the first round and we won the President's Trophy. Uh, and then we pick in the 90s as well. So pretty much it just comes down. We could use Denisenko to move up for a draft pick. Let me see here. So, Holzer. Oh, I didn't scout in Germany. Oh, no, sorry. This is ice. So, I'll have to go scout this guy in ice. Then some medium elites here. Uh, Reed Sloan. Patrick Kane, NHL ready. NHL ready. Patrick Kane again. Monaghan, NHL ready. Subban, NHL ready. So, this guy's also... Josh Bobby Lev, Offensive defenseman. Ooh, baby. 78 points in 68 games. But do we really need that? He's shoot and pinch. Is shoot and pinch what we need? I forget if shoot and pinch is what we need. Let me check out the coach again. But I don't know if we'd get another offensive defenseman. We just drafted Bern Lautner. He's shoot and pinch. Nicholas Hay with his 77% uh, team fit. He is pinch and cycle. So it would be an X and a check mark. That's true. I could go on the Masked Singer. I got pretty good pipes myself. A few of you have heard me sing a couple songs here on stream once in a while. There is a medium lead defensive defenseman who might be ranked at a, at seventh, kind of, by our scouts, but is central scouting ranked number 11. Similar to Chara, two years away, six foot five. Puck skills are terrible, but already B defense, which is nice. Uh, shutdown ability, but not a good skater. That's what scares me a bit, not a good skater. Slim, just, if he's in the seventh round and he's a defensive defenseman, you'd say, take him. You have to look beyond just the player type. I appreciate that, JB. It's very kind of you. Defensive defenseman, this guy is tempting for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying I'm not, I'm not, I'm not downplaying Par Leonard here. But I'm saying you just you can't go because of his player type. We have to look beyond that. If he's a terrible skater, I'm not as inclined to take him. But if he's a medium elite at 11th overall, that makes me more makes it more desirable. So I'm not saying no to him at all. He's definitely a possibility. Based on the ending, we need offense over defense. That's true as well. We do need offense over defense. But we do have Bern Lautner in the system. So I was, I was thinking probably a forward we need to draft, not a defenseman. We've drafted Big D. We have, we've taken Sanderson. We've taken Lautner. We've taken Hewitt. Yeah, our last, our last big picks have all been defense. Sanderson, Hewitt, and Lautner. That's three years in a row. So I don't want to make it four years in a row of taking a medium elite defenseman. I don't know. 
Another Leonard coming through Ottawa, yeah. Reed Sloan, a playmaker, left wing, 18 points in an A-plus competition, is definitely interesting. Similar to Patrick Kane, NHL ready, A-plus shooting, A-plus puck skills, yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, but again, a lot of it comes down to do these teams want to trade their picks or not. If they don't, then it's going to be impossible to trade up. Well, again, a lot of this will take, uh, yeah, and a, another German. We could, the German invasion could continue with another one. I have to scout him because I know nothing about him. So take this with a grain of salt because scouting still has to be done. Uh, he woo, 28 goals and 27 assists in a B competition. Okay. 55 points. Christoph Holzer. Christoph. Shout out to Christoph Angelidis. He's a centerman. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Well, I'll, I'll do more scouting and we'll talk more about it next episode. But that will require... I need to hear more of your thoughts down in the YouTube comments and over in the Discord server. What do we need to change? I think the head coach, the net, a 77% per, uh, team fit is still fine. The plus fives and the top six are amazing. We saw how well this team simulated last season. I don't think that a coaching change is uh, the move. All expiring. I don't think there's anyone... Excuse me, these hiccups again. I don't think there's anyone we really need to re-sign. Marlo will take him back if he wants to. We do have $11 million to to, uh, to play with. Uh, goaltenders. We have to re-sign Lankinen and Reimer. So the biggest question is probably the goalie situation. Lankinen wants 2.3 million for one season. He does want to re-sign. Okay. And then James Reimer would take... Oh, he wanted like 0 0.8 before. Now he wants... Because he wins the Jennings. Now he wants 1.4. I'd probably let him go to free agency though and then sign him later. Because that's a bit expensive. So we need to know what's up for goaltending. We have uh, uh, Philip Gustafson signed to his big $4.125 million deal for the next one, two, three four five seasons so i don't think trading gustafson is the move but you know i wouldn't be opposed to bringing both of them back uh i just don't know what's gonna happen i don't know what's gonna happen so i need to hear your thoughts on that yeah absolutely silly bring back lankin and let go of reimer but reimer was amazing so that's why it'll be hard to let go of either of them but we'll talk about this more in discord yeah he will decline it's true so maybe reimer could be the third goalie though wouldn't be i wouldn't be the worst third goalie option yeah, for the actual tandem between the pipes, it would likely be Lankin and Gus, though. So I'll go ahead and end it off there for the YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. It was a brutal heartbreaker with Lankow scoring with 50 seconds left in Game 7. Went one nothing. The offense just didn't show up. Linus Allmark just went on a tear and became a, another worldly deity. Don't really have any answers for, unfortunately. But we do need to get some off-season growth. And we need to make a couple moves here and there. And we need to run it back. Because this team is... We saw how good this team is. It's just... I don't know what to say with the hiccups. Next season, we should have burned Lautner in the lineup. As he's grown to a 79 overall as well. So there will be some changes to the lineup. That means maybe Jake Sanderson becomes expendable. Remember that, my friends. Jake Sanderson may be expendable with Bern Lautner coming to the NHL now. Just quickly show you that Sanderson... So here's Jake Sanderson's trade value. He's still on an entry-level deal. He's good, but he's a created player. He's not what he should be, and there's not as much room for him. So I think Jake Sanderson and or Grigory Denisenko can definitely be moved. Now the question is, what kind of target should we have? Third-line sniper, maybe, if Formentin isn't growing? Or maybe a better fourth-line entirely? I don't know. Gambrel's been good. Does chemistry have an, attack, have an effect in slow sim? Like in the calendar? I believe it does. Personally, anecdotally, I think it does. Some people say no or not as much. I tend to see it. When I see when I have a plus five on a line, or if I, and I change it up, I, I tend to see a bit of a change. I'm not sure if it's as impactful as the calendar sim. <laughs> Riots in downtown Ottawa of Connecting doesn't join the send. That's true. We've been talking about that, Troy. I remember Connecting in the last offseason when we went to get Sorelli. Do like in the other series and use him for the first over. Yeah, so if, it, it all depends on what picks are being traded. So that's it, my friends. It all depends on what picks are on the block. So thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're enjoying the series here on YouTube, drop a like. And we would love to have you over in the Discord server. It's a real blast. A lot of fun people. Many of them here in the chat here tonight. If you haven't already on Discord, 
uh, here for the people on Twitch as well, then the Discord link is here on Twitch or in the YouTube description. And if you want to watch this live as well, then be sure to follow on Twitch and vice versa. Make sure you're subscribed on YouTube for all the uploads. NHL 07 Dynasty Mode coming soon. NHL 21 continues with Minnesota and Ottawa. And I'll be the show 21 starting soon. Here on the stream, we're going to go play some F1 right now, I believe. So uh, that's the that's the key to be following because some fun stuff can happen. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Let's go Sens. Such a strong team. We have so much more to give. Thanks for watching once again and I'll see you in the next one.